In this video, we will look at a configuration of OSPF single area on an iOS XR platform. So I have my OS XR node and I also have an iOS node where I have pre-configured OSPF and also advertise the loopback. So let's start on the iOS XR node because that's what we're here for. So it will be a little bit similar to Cisco iOS with slight differences, which we will look at. So router OSPF and here, I won't be able to put a process ID as a, as a number. So I will use a name, network learning and a lab. And then I'll set my area. So area zero. And then I will just put the interface that I want to have part of this process or this iOS area zero. So basically that's all what there is to it. And I will commit. I also just like to show commit change difference. So we see what are we what have we done? Root to OSPF for the process, set the area, and then add the interface. So I will commit here. So it just kind of demystifies or takes away any fears or concerns if you about to tackle iOS XR. It is slightly different, but it's not that different. If you know your OSPF routing and configuration for iOS, uh, normal iOS devices, you just think about the same way, but change the syntax slightly. So let's just do another thing here. You can't do show our IP OSPF neighbor. So that's one of the differences. So it has to be show OSPF neighbor. You can't do show IP root either. You have to do show root if it's for IPv4. If it's for IPv6, show IPv6 root. Show root IPv6. Okay. So, and then show root OSPF. Okay, the reasons why I can't see any roots is because on the OSPF part here, on the interface, actually, where I put in my configuration earlier, I have set the OSPF network as point to point. So that's a good kind of troubleshooting point is something I have omitted here. So let's go and add it here. So I can't jump into the interface straight away. First, I have to do the area. And here I can put the network option or network type. So it would be point to point. And I'll commit. So now I have a root. Now, if I wanted to advertise, let's first create a, uh, a loop back here. Remember when you're adding an address, an IP address on uh, iOS XR, you have to specify whether it's an IPv4 or an IPv6. In my case, I'm using an IPv4 address and I use a slash 32. So the host, commit this and then go back to my OSPF process. And then if I wanted to redistribute, 
So I can do the redistribution at this point here. So I'm in just after the uh, the OSPF process. So without going into any areas, obviously. Uh, but what I prefer to do is to select the address family because you, it could well be that you want to have different redistribution ways, or also you will have different. Um, root policies and the root policies are the equivalent of root maps in uh, in ios xr so you may want to have different policies or root maps uh, for for different address families so this is why i like to specify the address family and then i do redistribute connected for example i mentioned root maps so in ios xr we use root policy so you may have root policy uh, test one, for example, for address family RPV4, and you have root policy test two for RPV6. So get into the habit of selecting or putting your configuration under the address families. So I will just put it under address family RPV4, and I will commit. So going back to my iOS node, And then I can see that now I do have my loopback address routed from XRV or from the iOS XR node. I'll do a quick test just to validate. And so I ping the uh, loopback zero that is on the XR node and I source it from the loopback zero from the iOS node. So this is the end of this very quick session and it kind of, like I said earlier, it, it takes away the concerns you may have about configuring OSPF on XR. The principles are pretty much the same. So it's just indented and then you have to put your configuration or your interface under the process. So you remember on uh, iOS, you either put your configuration on the interface, as we have done here, RPOSPF, we said the network and we said the RPOSPF area here, or you can also put it under the process itself in iOS. So you can set your network here and then tag the area. So if you want to have all networks So you can you can do this also. So that's the end of this this session. I hope it was educational or inform informative. Any questions as usual, just drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.